Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Consciously Create. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I record and produce my own music. And I also film three videos a week here on YouTube. And this series is all about branding and marketing and business and so, so much more. So for this video, we're going to talk about the best distributor to use because I have used two of them and I found which one works best for me. I know when you're first starting out and wanting to put your music on all streaming stores and things like it can be a little bit overwhelming because there's so many distributors is ridiculous and considering not too long ago there was none and you had to go through a record label it's kind of crazy how many there are now but for me personally I have tried um I forgot their names, like what the hell. I've tried TuneCore and DistroKid and right now I'm with DistroKid mainly because it is a million times cheaper. I think um, if TuneCore wasn't so expensive, I may well have stayed with them, but I did go with them first. I went with TuneCore first and they were very good. Like they got the music up there and everything, which I loved. But one thing I didn't like was that whenever you had an issue, like if songs were put on the wrong artist page or something, you have to email to get them to change it for you. Whereas on DistroKid, there's just a fix a button and you just click on that. You can select the right song and paste the link and everything. Like you don't have to email them and lay everything out so that they understand what you mean. Like there's already a tool there to be able to correct it. So I definitely prefer that with DistroKid. But the main thing I prefer is the fact that obviously it is a lot cheaper. So it's literally like, I don't even remember how much it was because it's in dollars and I'm from the UK. So it was converted, but I think it was like 20 or 30 dollars for the whole year and you can upload as many songs as you like so literally that's just completely cheap compared to TuneCore when I was releasing a song every week and I was paying like seven pounds something or seven dollars something every song so like that adds up especially if you want to release consistently so I definitely recommend DistroKid if you're looking for a cheaper version there's no like right or wrong you just have to look at what it is that you want and what your budget is and then go from that so so if you have like no budget, then DistroKid would definitely be like the best option. But if you do have a budget, then you may want to consider some of the others like TuneCore because I would say TuneCore is probably more in depth with like the analytics and stuff because DistroKid doesn't really break it down that like it's not that detailed, the graphs and stuff that they give you. So I think if you want to be able to really analyze all of your data and stuff of where your music is being streamed, then you'll probably want to pay more and go for TuneCore or another distributor that has more analytics. But for me, with no budget, I would say DistroKid is definitely the best one. So I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. All links to my music, social media, my jewellery brand and my merch and everything else about me will be in the description box below and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already because I do upload three times a week. Bye. Think you like me, yeah I'm icy, cooling in that white tee Oh, yeah, I think you might I'm the thing you like, in my range all white Oh, yeah, I think you might I'm the thing you like, in my range all white